I'm Rick. This is the shack. Welcome to the shack. I'm Rick. Uh, this is your first time being. Thank you so much for taking some of your time out to my channel. Uh, please browse around. I have other videos. I do a little bit of home improvement, home repairs, tour reviews, and some projects. So today I'm going to kind of go over real quickly my Milwaukee chalk reel and line kit. This is all came together in one kit. You got the chalk reel, you got your chalk, and you had an additional chalk line. Now it already comes with the 0.9 millimeter fine chalk line on the chalk reel. The additional line is the 1.5 millimeter thick bold chalk line. So there's a lot of benefits for getting this and going this route and updating versus something we may have had for the last five plus years. And especially like I will show my vintage one was, yeah, it was time to, to update. So I'm gonna yank this out of here, lay it out, kind of go over everything, explain the gear ratio, the planetary gear system they have in this, demonstrate how quickly it cranks up with a few little side comments and that's it, very quick, very simple. With that said, let me take this out and let's go over it. This is everything that is included in that. Now, a lot of times when you buy the chalk reel, you'll have just the reel and the chalk. This was a bonus kit that actually came with an additional chalk line. This is the 1.5 millimeter chalk line, pre-spun on here, pre-spooled, I whatever you want to call it, is the 0.9 millimeter. I don't know if I can get the camera in to see this or if you can see this good enough but that is a difference you can see that the red line is much thicker than this white line this is the thinner fine chalk line now now these are the braided line which will hold together better over time it won't start fraying fluffing and doing that weird stuff comes with an additional container of the chalk this is color cap blue chalk you can buy the red this is the aluminum or aluminium as our brothers down under will say the aluminum body this housing for the planetary gear system inside is all aluminum basically there is a three gear system in here you got a gear on top it distributes the torque of you winding this up evenly so there's no unnecessary stress on any particular gear it's distributed equally making it very very nice um, <clears throat> also I'm going to show you why again I chose this one to get rid of my old one now my old one this is a vintage old one I don't remember the name of it anymore I don't want to do this it's going to get all over but I'll show you just pulling this out I'm already getting chalk drop down that's a major issue because there's no real restriction here it's just open so it comes out drops around plus it's a thicker line it's a little bit i want to say like yarn is kind of fluffed up now so it catches a lot of the chalk and it just makes a mess when you're reeling it out but there's no gearing system on this so you're basically cranking 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 and i three feet i crank probably 10 or 12 times this is where you open this up and fill the chalk in so this was good as far as never opening up on accident in your tool bucket tool bag tool belt wherever but you can also use it if necessary see i can't even hold it but you can if i if i could lock this thing up again it's just not locking anymore right there i think i got it yeah you can use it as a plumb bob because that little point there you could actually use it as a plumb bob if need be so it's kind of multi-function in the day five years ago i think i bought this one it's kind of like a pot cast something pot cast here and this is plastic uh kind of cheap metal crank to me it was just like i said i was not happy with this from day one open that up that's how you fill the chalk in i can't tell you how many times this stupid thing opened up in my tool bag tool bucket tool belt having chalk all over having to stop dump it all clean everything up because i hate having that all around me plus you know if you're in a customer's home this opens up doing something that makes a big mess it's just not good so 
And again, not as bad as the red one, but there's still that coming up. But it did have a good crank. It had a good racial gear in here. Okay. Have to push that in to release it. Sorry about that. When my grandmother calls, I answer. She's 97, almost 98, so I make sure whenever she calls, I take that phone call. <laughs> uh, so that was my quick comparison of these two. Kind of the reason why I got this. Again, this is all aluminum or aluminum, however you wish to pronounce it. Body, the casing here is aluminum. Metal, heavy duty crank here. If this is, actually if this is set in, that locks it. You push down, releases it, hook up. Now you can pull it, taunt, and snap your line. Open it up, reel it back in. Doesn't fit in there easy. Just push it down, spin it around, lock it in. All right, get this open. And again, to fill this one up, spin this top, open it up, and there you go. Fill that full of chalk, reattach it. You have no worries about this coming open in your tool belt, bucket, bag, whatever. Not making mess and not spilling. I'm going to stretch this out three feet. I'm going to show you the difference in the gearing system because this is, has about the same gear ratio. I think it's a six to one gear ratio. But it's not planetary gear, it's just a gear in a gear. Planetary, this is a three gear system. Crank wise, these are pretty well equal, but this one makes a mess, makes a mess pulling it out. This has a better orifice here, is better as far as keeping the uh, chalk inside. If you look here, there is a sponge right there, so it really keeps the chalk on the line when you snap it, there's not a lot of dust floating around, and when you pull it out, you're not getting a mess. A lot of little things have gone into the thought of this and planning and engineering, and I think they have a very, very nice design. Comfortable to hold, fits in your hand very well, not overweight, not bulky, it just has a overall great feel to it. So I'm gonna crank this out. This board that I'm sitting here is three feet. Let me just pull that out. Okay, that's 36 inches already a line out. So I'm going to put this up in the center. So I'm going to crank just one full crank. And see, I've done this multiple times and I average 34 inches per crank. I put this rag down because I'm going to pull some of the line out. And you can see how much comes out as this gets pulled out. Now, see that old style vintage? A lot of chalk comes out on that line and drops everywhere. Very, very messy. Now on this one here, whoops. Go down. I don't think I have any chalk left in this thing. Okay, there we go. Got some chalk in there. Not as bad, but it actually, I know because I'm, I, you know, yeah, almost out of chalk because it fell out of there. But it does almost as much as this. I don't know if you can see in there. Even down there, there's no chalk left in here. It fell out. I haven't refilled it because I don't want to use it. But even with no chalk, you see a little bit there. You imagine if this thing was full, it'd be almost like this. A lot of chalk does come off on that chalk line. And then this one, we'll see how she works. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to fill this up make sure this is... Okay, it's good to go. Actually, I'm just gonna pour that sucker right in there. Oops. Ah. Messy stuff. Messy stuff, man. I have to wash this off now. <laughs> she ain't new no more, right? Okay. Get the chalk on it now. It takes a few times to do it, so with my hands all dirty, I'll flip it over here. 
So you got a clean slate to go by. <clears throat> okay. Wow. There's no dust coming out on that at all. That is nice. Do this again, make sure it's all down there. Wow. I don't see any chalk at all coming out of there. That is nice. Waiter, waiter, waiter. Give him a chicken dinner. I have some spare wood on the side of the shop. I thought I'd come out here and demonstrate real quickly the difference in the chalk lines, the bold and the fine. So this is the Irwin, and you can also see how much of this is, see all that coming out. Just going to snap it. Then we got our new, nothing's coming out. Wow. That is a crisp line, dude. Wow, I am so impressed with that. Now my great old one, oops, <laughs> it's stay up there. Yeah, it's got chalk fall. These are the three lines. This is the Irwin, kind of light. And you can see because of the chalk fallout, you got catching on various parts of the wood. This one is the brand new Milwaukee. Look how solid and crisp that line is. So you see how there's kind of waves and it gets fluffy. Actually, probably a little bit better up on top, but as you get down to the bottom, it gets wider and it's just fluffier. And this one was thin, kind of gets wide then my this is my old one and you, and there's a lot of chalk falling out on that one so those are the three differences my old one this is the Milwaukee this is the Irwin that fine 0.9 millimeter chalk line and it's braided it's not just wrapped like the other ones look how fine that is quick little review and as you saw in the snap test, how very, very fine and precise this 0.09 millimeter line is in here. And again, this is, isn't your normal spun line, regular like string. This is actually braided, makes a big difference. When you snap it, there's not a lot of dust flying coming out. There's not a lot, lot of chalk dust dropping. Very, very crisp line. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, that's it. I thank you so much for watching. If you are considering it, kind of like, I don't know if I really want one, I need one. I hope this sheds a little light. Hopefully it helps you make a decision one way or the other. I'm not trying to make you buy anything. I'm just showing you and hopefully helping you in that decision. A little side note, as you saw at the beginning, I have a little bit of a different intro. I'm going to experiment with a couple of different ones, trying to get something that, that's a little more pleasant, a little more upbeat or something. Um, so in the comments below, please let me know what you think. And you know, I will always get back to you if you got a comment on this. If you have, I know there's another style that looks a lot like this one, and they may have gotten some of the design idea from that one. But doesn't matter what you use, what you know, just chime in what you think about it. Even if you don't use it, if you think yeah, it's a pretty good product, but I prefer this one still, that's fine. But keep your comments clean. I don't allow negativity and uh, you know vulgarity. You come across just bashing us, talking trash, probably gonna delete you. My channel, my rules, I don't deal with people like that. Uh, I think that's it. Grab you some Lumber, get a tool or two, get out there in your shop, in your garage, in your shed, in your basement, whatever. Get into your shack. Build it for family, and most importantly, build it for your sanity. Also, there will be 
some bloopers I'm going to start throwing in because I make mis lots and lots of mistakes. <laughs> so I figure what the heck, you know, we're human, we screw up. I'm going to throw some of those in, some of the things that happen behind, actually in front of the camera. So those will be after this. That will be at the end of everything. That's it. That's some of the things I'm doing, some of the changes and a few things I'm going to try throughout some of the videos the rest of the year. And again, let me know what you think. I truly appreciate all your input because it only helps me get better. That's it. See you next video. Get away, fly. Oh, get out of my drink. Oh my gosh, you got my drink. Today, I'm going to go over. I'll get this fly out of here. Get away, fly. Both of you, get away. Out of here. Snooze, you lose, fly. <laughs>